What is up, YouTube? This is Grayson and Sam here with Tree Media Home Theater. We're out here on a quick fixer up, fixer upper home theater here in McKinney, Texas. Let me show you what we're doing, guys. So we have a customer pre-existing four channels in the ceiling. We're using as the surround back left and right, and we also have the front left and right in ceilings. All previous customer owned. These are Infinity speakers. In the front of the room, we're going to be putting a Dragonfly 120 inch high contrast screen, as well as we're gonna do a Denon AVR 2600 and a Klipsch SPL 120, all terminating at the front of the room. Up here, we're gonna be using the Epson 4050 you guys have seen us use a lot. That comes with the mount and an extra bulb, as well as we're gonna be relocating the power from up there. And we're also gonna be running a HDMI back towards the home run in the front of the room. Let me just show you the products we're using here. 20, this is a 12 inch ported sub, ceramic metallic woofer, and clutch. This is the 4050 Epson Pro Cinema. And then here Sam has, this is gonna be our center channel that they don't have yet. This is the 640 from Klipsch as well. Dragonfly, 120 inch screen, it's going backwards. There we go and a Denon AVR 2600. We're gonna start unboxing the products and show you how it goes on an installation process. All right guys, so now I'm gonna mount my projector mount. So where I got my center was here and the stud is right here. So what I'll do is I'll put it right like that, right in the center, and drill. So I'm gonna check out the throw real quick. I'm pretty sure it's good, but I would hate to make holes in the wall and not be good. So typically it's about a foot throw for about every 10 inches, or a foot, depending on the projector. But so where I'm planning on putting it is gonna be about 14 feet, and this is a 120 inch screen, so you're looking around like 12 to 14 feet. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, confident, I've done this projector a lot, so it's probably around 14 feet for the throw. So we're just gonna start mounting it now here for you. And let me just show you that I do have my stud there. That is my center line. There's my stud. Boom. Um, so, go like this. Make sure we're center. Take your lag bolt. Make sure you got a drop cloth down. Okay, so you know you're in. You have drywall dust all over you. <laughs> and you want to make sure it's straight looking. So, Sam, which way? This way? Uh, kick towards me. Towards that me. end. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Uh, you nailed it anyways. Got it? Yeah. Here's and here's practice. Alright. Now you're gonna screw your drop down pole. You see we do have a little fan here the customer wants to keep. So we're gonna use our six inch drop down pole that's included with the 4050 and then bring it down just enough where it clears the fan. And then, more than likely, we'll take this off. People don't even use these anymore anyways. Just pretty tight. Not too tight where you can't ever get it off if you wanted to. Because that's what this little screw here is for. To give it tension. Tighten it even more so it doesn't move like that. Okay, now I'm going to go put the other piece of the mount on the projector itself. Alrighty, I'm cutting our holes for our power as well as our uh, HDMI pass through. Alrighty, today we got the Dragonfly 120 high contrast screen. You might have seen us set this up before. Uh, we use it frequently on this channel, but uh, here are your side pieces. 
velvet on one side. I'm gonna set these up silver side towards you. fished up into the attic. Sam's gonna go attach it to the service outlet up in the attic and then also run this HDMI to the front. So right now he's turning the power off and I'm gonna start putting the power on the, in on this side. And it killed the power to the room so I guess you guys aren't gonna see very much. <laughs> All right guys, next we're gonna throw up the projector. Sam's gonna hand it to me. Always do this with a friend if you can. Not that you can't do it alone. But it's always a little easier. And then before you let go, lock it into place. Lock the lock. And take it out. That way, it's not going anywhere. It ain't coming down. There you go. And then plug in your power. Your HDMI. You're all set. Then clean up. Don't forget the uh, back plate, if so desired. Kind of covers the cables and uh, gives it a rounded look. Yeah. Look at that. Nice clean work done by Gracie. Uh, today our customer didn't opt for a surge protector. I'm going to ask her again. Just to make sure, but uh, I don't think she said That's why, you, if you were curious. <laughs> This was like a partial job. It wasn't one of our full installations. So. We always include surge protection in our full installations. All right, so we are on our way, hanging our uh, mount for the screen. See there, I uh, found the studs right here. I uh, found our distance from, uh, this is as high as we can go thanks to our uh, ceiling fan restriction. So uh, we kind of lined it up there. I took a measurement to where the screen hangs from where that uh, line is. And then I uh, put this right at that measurement. I leveled it and then hung our other one. Uh, now we're moving on to the bottom bracket. Now something we'd like to do is just raise it up a little bit. What do you say, eighth, if that? Yeah. About an eight, eighth up of where it hangs naturally. So if it hangs naturally like this, you just scoot. So that way you have some wave going on in that band. That'll just make it a lot easier when installing your screen. Um, just saves you some time and energy. We're gonna knock that out. All right guys, this has come to the conclusion of our installation. Mm -hmm. Let me show you the recap of everything we've done today. Dragonfly 120 inch screen up there. It's the high contrast, sorry, it's a small room. We also are just projecting with a Epson 4050 projector. We actually put a watt box surge protector up there and we're using that included mount. For the brain of our system, we are using the Denon 2600 AVR X2600H. This is the 640D from Klipsch and the SPL 120. We're using a PlayStation 4 and a Spectrum cable box. The customer is going to be getting their own stand here in the future, but for now they're just using those uh, in boxes for now. For our surrounds, we have some maybe six inch infinity speakers that the customer previously owned. Those are the fronts and these are the surrounds here in the back. All right guys, I hope you like the following along for the installation today. And keep in mind, if you did need any of these products that we offered in, during this installation today, the clips, we have the projector, the screen. Also, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. 
This is Grayson. And Sam. With Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.